wait till it burns something or something. It's gonna get that flame hot enough to get that flame to go down and get blue. Okay. Turn it up. It's gonna heat the regulator. I'm hungry. This is a good place to be if you're hungry. There's food being cooked. I was thinking this morning. I was chopping this wood before it's in the dark with a flashlight. I was thinking. I, I rise the latest that I rise, but I still rise before 8, which most of the world doesn't. I mean, I set my alarm at 5.30 yesterday morning because I knew I had to get up and get to work because I had stuff to do. And this morning, if I'd have set an alarm, I'd have got up, but I fell asleep before I could set the alarm. And I went to bed at about 11 o'clock, and I was just out. I can't lay there because I'm, I'm plagued by what I have to do. I'm thinking, like, oh my gosh, I've got so much to do. I've got to get up and get it running. <coughs> Sometimes when I sneeze like that, my dang starting to pop. That's why mine used to be all the time. Pretty much every time I sneeze these days. But, um... I took a spell there for a few years that it would just, just be going about my day, and all of a sudden I'd have a catch right there that would just kill you. And you if you popped it, it's just instant relief, but you dread it popping it, and you'd have to move around, and all of a sudden it'd go pow! And it's just instant relief, but golly, it's horrible. Crazy. I never had that. I've not but had that in a long time, but I've had it. I had if it I raise years. my arms up real fast, or when I sneeze, or if I turn real fast, it'll pop. And it never did that until I did CrossFit. <laughs> we were talking about Ruby last night. I completely forgot. She kind of technically is out here with us. She's sitting over there. The Rubster. Old Rubers. Her and her, her, and her uh, toy. Did you put her toy in there? Mm -hmm. It's toy. Uh, what oh, that little dog. It? What do we call the it? Fuzzy. The fuzzy. Yeah. And my green blanket. I wrapped, wrapped her fuzzy in the blanket with it. Fuzzy looks so good. She's my favorite. You know what? It's fixing to be. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, don't start that up. Let's get up. It's morning time. Nobody's laid an egg. You just go get you something to eat and be quiet. Depending on fuel, but I just like it because it reminds me of my new candle. Do you know anybody that uses one of those other than me? One other than Scott and them, when they go camping, they'll cook on one all week. Or when they go hunting or whenever, they'll do it. But other than that... Awesome. You got my shirt? 
hundred and one. Well, they're just about too little for me. Load is a little out of load. I'd like to have, and you might have an answer to this, I'm sure I could get him somewhere. I've not even really looked, so that would probably help me if I tried. But, um, they make those steel blocks, like little tiny steel blocks, like as forming things. They make all kinds of them to form with, like uh, little mandrels or little, not exactly dies, but... I need something like that, like a little steel square to form those inlay pieces around. Because you can do it by hand, that's not a problem. But you need those corners to be sharp and square. You don't want those corners to be round. You really want it to be, because it makes it easier to work with. And the last inlay pieces I made, I kind of just made by hand, and the corners were a little bit round. And it's just a little bit more difficult to make it fit. So I was trying to think of something square, and I was like, even... That's something I hadn't thought of. Even wood would work. I could get myself a piece of wood and cut it down to what I wanted. Just a little, like a little square of that. Yeah, like a little tiny square of that. But I can also use my bench block, but I'll just have to use it in a different way. I can't form it completely around it. Like, for what I do, it's best to work, be able to work quick and be able to have jigs and all that kind of stuff and mandrels and all that, so it's not like every time you've got to try to, you don't even have to think about it, you just pick it up, wrap it, done, and it really helps save time, but. Okay. I'm going to do any kind of and, uh, if I'm going to, I had better get on it. I, had, uh, I wanted to do more howling stuff, but I just wasn't here enough to do it, but I made some pumpkins, and that was what I normally do, so. Well, I mean, even if you don't do, like, Christmas or something like that, you could do, might do a, uh, some kind of like you did before, like you, uh, you call it a 
I'll get you some fruit. It's good. Mm -hmm. Very good. Good food, good company. Yep. I always did like them chickens. <laughs> Not the chickens. How about you and Katie? That's good. Mm. Papa's sausage ain't half bad, is it? I think it's real good. It's like that old sausage from years ago. It is really mm. good. You could go into business, Papa's sausage. Yeah, it's mighty good. It is, yeah. It's the best we've eaten on the land. Yeah. I mean, better than what we've been eating. Way better. Mm -hmm. It's got a little kick to it, and I like that. Me too. I usually like spicy food, but if it's in meat or like sausage, I like that. Years ago, you could go to the, well, the supermarkets like A and P, or even local family-owned ones, and you could get. You could get sausage that was hot. Mm -hmm. Or you could get some that was, you know, even the mild 
a lot of times the mild sausage had more kick than this. But if you've got something that said hot, it's yeah. hot because it had they put red pepper flakes in it. Mm. Well, that really would be hot. And that was good on a cold morning, you know, in camping and hunting or fishing or whatever. There's some sort of pepper flakes in this. Oh, red pepper. Oh, that's good. It looks red. <laughs> Feels like it anyway, just because you're outside, I guess. Everything's so much better when you're outside. The actual, I don't know why. The actual taste of the food is usually better when you do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think you could eat a bologna sandwich outside and it'd be extra special. I <laughs> think so good. This is all I had to do. It's late, isn't it? Yeah. This is camp. Mm -hmm. It's so fun. Yeah, if I was filthy rich, I wouldn't be. That's what I'd do. off on the yacht. I'd be sitting around the campfire. I'd be yeah. camping. Absolutely. <clears throat> I always thought if I was too rich, I'd just I'd be smart. I'd keep the money and just live on it. But I'd have to do something. I couldn't not work. I'd get bored. I'd have to, feel, I'd have to do something to be productive. But still, I'd be able to enjoy my time and not worry about what I had to get done. I worry about paying bills. Yeah, I'd have, I'd have money to help people that need yep. help. Be be able to put it down whenever you wanted to go do something fun. Yeah, that's right. Not be worried about the work that's not getting done. <clears throat> I'd have me some all kinds of cool camping stuff. But I'd have lots of rocks too. <laughs> That'd be my first order of business. I'd buy a bunch of rocks that I like. Camping's a lot of fun, <clears throat> but it's absolutely miserable if you ain't comfortable. True. You don't know how to stay comfortable, stay dry, or stay warm. Mm -hmm. We camped. We camped quite a bit when we were kids. Yeah, I'll show you that in Which that was fun because when you're a kid, everybody else, you just show up and enjoy it. It's not like we did the hard work of like chopping the wood and securing a tent and all that kind of stuff. We just showed up and run around and enjoyed it, which that was a blast. So much fun. It's fun when you've got a big group of people. I think that's fun. Mm -hmm. Always somebody to play with or talk to. Mm -hmm. or, Camaraderie, camaraderie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was really good. Thank you, guys. One time, me and your daddy was camping. Well, what do you call that place we got? Where the people come, the tour bus. <laughs> we were way back up in the mountains. Yellow Gap. We had horses. <coughs> no, it wasn't Yellow Gap. There's a tour bus coming. We hadn't seen nobody the whole time. And one morning we began to hear stuff and we started looking and hear people talking. And there was this whole line of old people coming up through there walking. <laughs> and they had been on a tour bus and the tour bus had let them out and they were taking a short little hike, I guess, or a long hike or whatever. I mean, it, it, was in, it was in the park somewhere? Uh -uh. No, you can't camp in Hart. Pennsylvania County, I think. No. That's where we were riding horses that day, and 
way up there in the weeds were, like we were in the like an overgrown place, was up to the withers of the horses, and we heard whistles. And I said, what is that? And you was like, let's go. And you turned us around really quickly. Oh, well, that was... Uh... Yeah, I remember the place. Is that like Hurricane Creek? No. no. Something. I remember that now. But you remember the old people? And they were just like walking around in their little sandals and stuff. Did they see looking. you? Yeah, they had to walk right by our camp. Oh, yeah, yeah, they come by the camp. We started, yeah, yeah, remember that. We hadn't seen nobody or heard nobody, and then we, I mean, for a day or two, and then we heard <coughs> something, and it was That was, uh, what, where was that at? That was where, that was where you turn on the yellow gap, but where it goes, where you can go all the way into the barn. Mm, okay. Through I the know mountains. Where, I know where that's on that at. gravel road. It was back in there and then way back up in, a, in a, an old dead end forest service road. I know where that's at. Way in there. And while, what in the world a sure. tour bus was doing in there, I don't even know how they got it in there or out. Yeah, that oh, was what I was remember those say. old people? Yeah, I'd forget. So, they were all like in our Why were you? I totally forgot about that. Right? When you were up there, when the weeds were up to the withers of the horses, how come the whistle? How come what were the whistles? And how come you had Daddy to said that was people probably in there growing pot, and they heard us, so they were signaling to each other. And we were way back. Yeah, way back. So your daddy's like, let's get out of here. Before I even knew it, we were turned around. I mean, he just pulled my horse too, and before I even knew it, we were headed back the way we come at a little trot. And I was like, what's going on? Daddy said, we do not want to get mixed up in nothing like that. No. It's scary business. Yeah. Well, no, when we, we didn't go on that trail, far back like that, you could get the air let out of you. Yeah. Yep, and nobody would know. Nobody would know what happened. Oh, it was beautiful in there, though. That so was a pretty place. That's the only time I ever we, stayed there. Well, we we didn't. We went to I don't know how the directions, but we left there. But then another place we were riding. <coughs> I guess the other direction, whatever. Do you remember? I was so amazed with it. You probably remember you seen it like. But I'm like always loved the creeks. I was just amazed. It was like we were riding kind of in an old road bed, but the creek come off the mountain, come right through that road bed, and then come back down the other and just kept going. You remember when we stopped and I was playing in it? That was beautiful. Where was that? It was that same place. Same it's just not a different place. Just on a different, different place. Trail or different place. whatever. <clears throat> Gosh, that was, that was 30 years ago. It was beautiful, though. I would still remember that creek. It's one of the prettiest things I've ever seen. I just think, if I was a little kid, and this is just perfect, it's just coming right through the road, I could just play right here. It wasn't deep or anything, it just come. Um, Some places like that in Middle Prong, and that, the first time I saw that, that shocked me, because that's how it does. It just comes straight down, and then it is an old an old trail or flat place that we follow in there, and then it just drops back off, mm -hmm. and I'd never seen anything like that before. Yeah. Well, it's funny, you, uh, I completely forgotten about all that mm -hmm. and then that you reminded me of it now I can just vividly remember pieces of it like it was last week and it was over 30 years ago I know but I still remember the, the little old people and they were like looking at us like oh the inhabitants of this land <laughs> there we were with like we, were, we didn't even have a tent we were sleeping in the back of the truck and had, had a tarp a, over it I, was, I had a really big tarp like a 20 by 20 tarp and I had a ridge line under it and had it tied off really good and really tight and it was high enough I could back my entire truck in it. And we, cool. then we had a, a big piece of foam that was the size of the inside of the truck bed. The whole truck bed was the bed. It's just like being at home. Yeah. And the tarp was pulled down enough on the sides to where even if it rained hard and the wind blew it wouldn't blow in on it. You I mean, couldn't it see was, out. Yeah. It was really nice. That's smart. That's cool. <clears throat> and it was a nice big flat place to camp. It was, it was neat. That's fun. We used to do a lot of that. Back it was before cold. back before it the was, red rats came along. Yeah. It was cold too. It was like in the fall or the winter or something. It was cold or early spring. I think it was fall though. Yeah, it warmed up pretty nice in the day, but the mornings and the nights got down cold. Pretty chilly, yeah. It was frosty yeah, cold. I remember night. it was so funny. We just in there all alone and all of a sudden then people start walking by <laughs> and they're like all like, you know, like on a tour bus you could <laughs> dress like with their khakis and their little purses and their fanny packs and And we thought we was back away from everything. And here come here they come and I thought that's elderly strange. people. What in the world is this? Yeah, and they were just like looking at us like And they probably thought, what in the world is this? <laughs> <laughs> and then the scariness of the 
whistles, yeah. which I wasn't scared when I first heard them. I was like, what's that? Who's here? <laughs> your daddy was Ooh, like, hello. Your daddy's it, like, let's go now. But it was so far back that, and there was a lot of that went on, and that's the and perfect kind of place to do it because it was so remote. They were signaling each other. I was just like, because one whistled, here? one whistled above yeah. the trail that we were on, and somebody whistled below the trail. They were probably 100 yards, 150 yards. Yeah, apart. yeah, that's something going on. That one, isn't two friends. Right. Like just out for a fun stroll. I know, yeah. And this was, I mean, I'm I ain't kidding you, it was way back. And we, you know, we thought we was the only ones on that entire map. Then you get back in there and all of a sudden you find you're out you're into not. into an illegal operation, yeah, people, they don't tell them what they'll do. Well, the good news is, being on those horses, you probably get away pretty quick. We did. Yeah, yeah, your daddy, before I knew it, had us all the way back down on the trail, down the mountain. He wouldn't even stop to explain to me till we got to the bottom. It's mine, Katie. I got it too close. <laughs> smell burning rubber. Mm. Something that smells like burning. Good times, though. Yeah. Let's do it again. Come on, let's go back. I'm out there all put, the time. Put horses now. Well, we won't have the horses, but... All the horses are fun, though. I know. I always wanted to have a horse, but I, I'm way too old now to start trying to pick up horses. Way I too begged old. Pap for a horse, and he finally told me. I was too old to be begging for a horse, but he finally told me. He said, Tipper, I'll tell you what. You can have a horse as soon as you just go up the creek and you turn over every rock you find. And if you find a horse, you can have one. <laughs> his way of saying hush i've heard enough about the horse i always wanted the horse I horses did. are cool and i like them and I always have i ain't been on one years but i grew up on them but they are a money pit <laughs> and they're a lot of work a lot of, i mean they're worse than dogs and chickens and oh, trying yeah, to keep up gotta, with they're finicky and, and they're take care of them. they they will they'll lay right down and die yeah they, they don't no will to live they do don't they? have that strong will to live like other animals Chickens will lay right down and die. You gotta, you gotta be with them to feed them. You can't go off somewhere yeah. for four or five days. You gotta, I mean, you just gotta be there with them. That's the only thing. And I we like ain't got nowhere to put them. Yeah. Yeah. Which is exactly perhaps uh, what he was trying to point out to me. Tipper, yeah. you want that's, one all you want. There ain't nowhere to put one. That's why. Uh, that's why I got rid of the ones I had when I moved here. There was nowhere to put them. Yeah. I actually brought them out here and rented a pasture, but that just didn't work. That, yeah. It, well, I mean, it did work, but it just got too aggravating trying to build a house. And, and then all of a sudden, she said she wanted the horses off there. And then there was nowhere for them to go. Yeah, yeah the lady changed her mind. too bad. So we sold them. What time is it, Dad? It is 8.35. Well, unfortunately, this has got to come to an end. No. Uh, okay. Because Paul's coming at 9 o'clock and Corey. Pretty day so far. Mm -hmm. It'll be a beautiful day. I think it probably will be. Cold weather's coming though. Yeah. What yeah. about you? It's gonna be like 23 or 22. 23, I say now it's 22. 49 for the high. I can't believe it. That's gonna be it. awesome. I'm gonna have to put on my. That's gonna be really, jobs. really hard to go to work in that kind of weather. You're it's gonna, gonna be really to. hard not to turn left and go right up in yonder. You're gonna have to get your coveralls out. I'm done at work. Katie's going to have to get her long johns oh, on. I have a pair of dad's coveralls that fit me. Olive drab on the outside. Butterscotch on the inside. <laughs> <laughs> what is that Olive from? drab on the outside. What would be red? What would Cherry. Cherry. Cherry on the inside. Cherry red on the inside. What's this that ain't warm. It ain't from nothing. It's we just say oh, it's just, we just, it's just funny that I'm wearing a butterscotch colored shirt because you don't never see yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, I wear. I would brown. say that's mustard, not butterscotch. I don't think that's <laughs> Excuse me, I was completely wrong. <laughs> <laughs> now you, for punishment, you can go stick your head in a hole. Yeah. What is that over there? Probably a little chipmunk that likes to run around us.